Hello, Wayne Barron from Dog Effects TV here to bring you the first in the Delphi instructional video series. In this video, we are going to be using the Delphi XE version. Do not worry, everything that we will be covering here will work in other versions of Delphi. The things that we will be covering in this uh, first of the series will be creating a form, adding a control to the form, creating runtime properties for the control, and then running the program and dealing with any runtime errors that may arise. Runtime means that you will be coding the properties of the controls and will only be able to view the properties during the running of the program, which means that while in design mode, you will not be able to view the custom settings of the control. So let's jump in and create our first mini app in Delphi. Let's click on File new VCL forms application. Whenever it first loads you will see your form right here. Now in Delphi 6 right here you're able to move the form around as well as other windows and so forth. But in XE the form is stationary cannot be moved around but you can change your window size. Now when changing size you will see a little box right here with a little white box within that frame. And as you increase and decrease the size of the form you will see the little white box get smaller. This right here, the gray box, is the actual window size that you're working in. The little bitty box, the white box, is your form size. So whenever you increase the size of your form, it will also increase inside of your little gray frame right here. That is just to let you know of how big the window is within your current window's um, screen resolution. So, with that said, let's go ahead and minimize it. Let's bring it to about right here. Over here in our tool palette, or we're going to choose our standard and these are our components and or controls whichever one that you want to call them we're going to choose a T label and we're going to place that on our form and now with our T label selected the first thing that we want to do is we want to double click on our form when we double click on form it creates a form create now click on design and then click on the label again and this will bring open the label properties you click back on the code view and then you scroll all the way down and you will see transparent as true uncheck that that's the first thing you want to do and then let's scroll back up now what we want to do to begin with is we want to give our form caption a name so with our form, which is form1 dot, then our properties select menu will open up or our autocomplete. And what we want to do is we want to choose caption, then colon equals single quote, this is my form, single quote, semicolon. Now when we run the program, it will run and the caption, which is right here from one, will show this is my form. Now for our label one, caption, colon equals, single quote, this is a caption label. When we run the program, the label one right here will display this is a caption label. Now we want to sh uh, change the color of our label. Label one dot color colon equals cl black semicolon. Label one dot font dot color colon equals CL 
white semicolon. Now when we run the program, our form caption is going to have this is my form. Our label caption is going to have this is a caption label. The color of the label is going to be black and the font, that's the text, is going to be white. So let's go ahead and run our form. Let's click on design that way you can see the before and the after. The before is form 1 and then label 1. So we click on our start button. No errors, that's always a good sign. That lets you know that uh, all of your coding is correct. And there you go. Now with the form running, we have our caption showing this is my form and then our text is this is a caption label. Our text is white and our label is black. So, form caption, this is my form. Label 1 caption, this is a caption label. The label color is CL black. And the label font color, color excuse me, is CL white, white. So, I hope that you enjoyed this first quick tutorial. Just go through and play around with the different settings that is inside of our label. And uh, you, everything that's in here can be used while designing in your code view. So just go through here, play around with it, uh, add in different things, and um, see what you can come up with. Once again, this is Wayne Barron from Dark Effects TV in our first of our Delphi series, and we hope that you enjoyed it. And please subscribe and keep an eye out for more, and have a rocking week. Thank you.